Hey guys, me Tessa Blaine, I'm back again, and today I have this really kind of cool item here that I wouldn't say is a must have, but it's something that you might want. Depends on where you live, if you like the way it looks, who knows, but anyway, so let's get started on it. Okay, so to get started, what I have is I have this touch screen sunshade that's made for our Tesla Model Y and the Model 3 that has the 15 inch touch screen in our car. This sunshade, um, it doesn't use any kind of adhesive or anything. It, it form fits, it snugs it really tight, it goes on and it fits pretty good. So this is it, see? Yeah. See, I'm in the middle of it. Anyways, um, what it is is this, that's the top of it right there. As you can see, this here is the sunshade part. Your screen will fit down inside it right in here, so this sticks out over. So when the sun is coming down on top, this here will help keep your screen from getting hot. It'll help it um, keep the glare off of it and it'll just keep it cooler and, and also add some shade to it when the sun is beating right on it in certain directions. No, it won't keep it 100% off of your screen, but it does help. Um, before I show you how to put this on, what I did is I actually, it's been about a good week and a half um, that I that I received this and I put it on. At first I'm like, I don't really know um, how well this thing's gonna work, what it is, so I figured the first thing I should do is go ahead and install it myself and test it out and see what I think about it over some time driving around and doing all that. So since I've had it on, I've actually grown to like it. Um, now that I just took the screen or the, the shade back off my screen and I'm looking at it, it the screen looks different. It almost makes it makes the screen look smaller. I don't know why. It's just a optical illusion thing that that I think the screen looks bigger with this on it. But I do see where it did help with the sun and the shading and all that. I live up here, up here, in the northern part of Florida. So down here in Florida I live. And it's hot a lot. Yeah, we've had some bad weather recently. We've had a... Um, a storm come through and it's been rainy for for quite a while for a few days anyways but um when it is bright and sunny out i have noticed a difference i have a few pictures i can show you where the shade um is on the screen just to show you that it does help um and i i, I it it says that it's going to help keep your screen a little bit uh, cooler I can I can agree with that because it won't have quite the sunlight beating down right on the glass. So yes, it can, it'll help with that. Um, but overall, I think I actually do like the way it looks with it on there. Um, it doesn't look bad on the back side of it. I mean, it when when you put it on, it's kind of it's kind of tight when you're squeezing it on. And I'll show you how I installed it here in a minute. But it it um, once it goes on, it doesn't move around. It's snug. It's tight. It, it looks good. It looks part of like part of the car OEM, but it's not. Um, if, if this is something you're in, interested in, the, the link is down below in my description. It's take you straight to Amazon and you can purchase it there. So just go ahead and try to um, install this and to see how hard it really is. It's not. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do to install this, I'm gonna bring it up. You see you got these little corner pieces right here on the top. So I'm going to bring those down from the top first. I'm gonna bring my sides around, then the bottom, let me get that on, and then my two bottom corners. And it is pretty tight. There, right there, it's on. Look at that. Very snug, fits it perfect. I don't have any issues with it on there. All right, so I got it installed. You can see that right there. You can see how it fits into there pretty easily snugged all the way around and uh no issues it actually doesn't really look that bad on here so bottom line i've had it on for about a week and a half now i put it back on i actually think i might leave it on for a little bit longer um it's it's something that i want to say at first i wasn't quite sure if it's something that i wanted 
but I have noticed when it is bright and sunny outside and the sun coming in on it, it does help keep the sun off the screen. I mean, I'm not seeing um, any issues with it. It doesn't look bad. It, it fits on there really easily. And if you need to take it off, it takes about five, 10 seconds at the most to take it off. You just take it off from the bottom first, pull it up, or you know, bring it up from the sides a little bit, and then you'll be able to lift it right off the top. So, um, I give it a thumbs up. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. You may not need it, you may not want it, but if you are in a sunny place, it might be something to put on there. It doesn't get on the way for anything. I still have my other phone mounts um, that, that are on the back side of it. I can still use them. It doesn't block any of that kind of stuff from being able to use. So, Anyways, guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. And please, be safe out there. Have fun and keep driving. Until next time, guys. See ya. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.